All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Logic. Now, what is a fallacy? A fallacy is an error or defect in an argument. Now, here's a list of some 22 informal fallacies. Now, I know it seems like a lot to learn, and it is, but this Logic series is the easiest and fastest way to learn it. Now, these 22 informal fallacies can be divided into three categories, and we're going to start with the fallacies of relevance, which means... The fallacy occurs when the premise is logically irrelevant to the conclusion. Now, this video will explain the fallacy of appealing to the people. The appeal to the people fallacy can be either direct or indirect. Direct appeal to the people is when the arguer uses a mob mentality with a large crowd to advance a conclusion. Now, listen to the following example. This speaker should not be allowed on campus. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down now. We've had enough of this hate speech on our campus. Down with hate speech. Down with hate, hate, speech. Speech. Hate, hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Radical ideology is a danger to this planet. Get, get out. out. Get, get out. out. Get, get out. out. Hey, Cindy. We should go get some tomatoes and throw it at the speaker. Okay, let's do it. There's a grocery store around the corner. All right, notice that Cindy was persuaded to throw tomatoes because of the mob mentality. Now, this is a good example of the appeal to people fallacy. Jack uses the mob mentality to persuade Cindy to throw tomatoes. Now, Jack's argument is fallacious because the mob mentality is logically irrelevant to whether or not they should throw tomatoes. Next is the indirect form of the appeal to people fallacy, which is the argument that you should do this or you should do that because everyone else is doing it. Hi, Jack. Did you hear about the new social media platform? No. No, I didn't. Yes, all the cool people are using it. Everyone is using it. You should use it too. Okay. I think I'll start using it. All right, notice how Cindy's argument is fallacious here. The premise, everyone who is cool is using it, and the conclusion, therefore Jack should use it too. Notice the premise is logically irrelevant to the conclusion. The appeal to the people fallacy, it's basically like this. If you don't want to be left out of the crowd, then you should do what the crowd is doing. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.